Hello, hello. This is the 3rd of December and this is Flossmas on the 3rd of December. My name is Michelle and I'm Mama Loves You GB. If you've come along expecting the normal Sunday morning briefing, then that's not quite what's happening this month. We are doing a month of Flossmas. So this is only going to be a short sort of 10, 15 minute video about what I've been up to. If you want to see the previous two days, they are already there for you and I'll have started a playlist so that hopefully you'll be able to catch up on whatever you've missed. It is actually the 3rd of December today. Um, I normally film the day before, uh, but yesterday we had a day of going to Christmas fair. We got the Christmas decorations down and I had a big fight with the tree. I'll tell you more about that later. Um, and then just about six o'clock, I sort of sat down for a break and I suddenly thought, I feel dreadful. I felt really dreadful. Chris had cooked pasta for tea. I couldn't eat it. I went in the bath. I was shivering. I was shaking. And I just went to bed. I just went to bed. And uh, about 11 o'clock, I woke back up again. I thought, oh, I don't feel too bad. I had a really sore throat. And we've got, there's quite a lot of COVID in the area. I thought, oh, is it, is it COVID? The way I was feeling, I was thinking, God, I don't know if I'm going to be in school next week. This is... And I woke up and I felt a bit better. And then I woke up this morning and I feel not too bad. Not too bad. I don't know if the temperature is quite under control, but I think I've dodged a bullet. And I'm not sure Ness is feeling very well either. When I was a little kid, if I wasn't feeling very well, my face would go completely pale, except for two rosy red cheeks and that's what she had yesterday. So I'm not sure that she's not feeling a little bit under the weather as well, which is unusual for me and her to feel under the weather together. It's normally Chris and her. They've got the same immune system. I have a different minor immune system usually. Right. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let me show you what I've been stitching. I haven't got a massive amount, obviously, because it's only been 24 hours. But I am keeping up to date with the Roxy Floss Co. Evertote Modern Folk Embroidery Collab. Oh, I'll just drop those. Oh, did I? Maybe I didn't. Um, which is the advent calendar. So we have two colours done. Now the side colours, you probably can't see very well. It is a bit bright in here being in the morning, but can just about make them out on the sides. They are more obvious in person on this beautiful fabric. So we've had those two colours and those two pieces of instruction. So I will show you those. And I have also got nearly, nearly ready the second of the Christmas owls. Now I will show him to you. I've just got to finish him off. So here he is. Isn't he fab? Now, this is going to be Gordon. When I asked for um, some suggestions, the overriding one, because he was going to be brown, was Gordon. Gordon Brown. So this time I've used some slightly different threads to normal just to see. I was just playing around. Obviously, I've been encouraging you all the way through to use up your stash on these. So DMC, Whisper Threads. This is an overdye, this is an overdye, and the middle is an overdye. I will, of course, give you some um, DMC conversions. I think you can notice the overdye in person, whether you can see it on camera, I don't know. Do you need the overdyes? No, you don't. If you've got them, then great, but don't worry. Um, this is um, Krynic, so I use some Krynic on it as well. So this is him with Ramsey. So this is, <laughs> I just realised, Gordon and Ramsey. <laughs> oh, how uh, how interesting. Yeah, Gordon and Ramsey. <laughs> oh, did you guys set me up for that one? Because I didn't realise that was going to happen. Gordon and Ramsey. So he will be in my Etsy shop later on today and I will show you the finish with Ramsey tomorrow. Before I move on, I'll just show you my uh, Christmas jumper for today. Oops. And it's got dogs on it. I love it. Right, let's have a little look and see one of the advent calendars that we've got. Let's start with the Roxy Flosco one. So this is number three. What else have I picked up there? Random bit of paper. Oh, another thread. Oh, another green. Fabulous. So what does it say? December the 3rd. December is the time of year when we can indulge in some of our favourite recipes. 
today I will share one of mine on my YouTube channel. So this is from Jacob. So Jacob's doing a sort of Flossmas as well with a mixture of songs and uh, things on his YouTube channel. So I'm going to go and see what uh, what recipe he's got for me. So we've got a little bit of extra to fill in. Yeah, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. So there's the green. It is called Fresh Cut. Um, now did these fling out of here? Oh no, they didn't. They're still there. So this is where we are. There we go. It's lovely to have lots of greens actually. Greens are colours I very often substitute. So it's lovely to have lots of greens. So talking of greens, fighting with the tree. We had this Christmas tree that I'd had for oh, probably 20 years. It didn't owe me a penny. It was a beautiful big tree when I bought it. Quite expensive and it lasted really well. So I'd bought another one last year because this one was dropping more leaves than a normal tree. Um, and they didn't have quite the one I wanted, but they had the flocked version of the one I wanted. And again, it should have been a really expensive tree, but I bought it in sale. Well, <laughs> when we opened it after Christmas last year, I knew it was quite flocked. And I was like, oh, that's fine. I'll just, I'll just have to knock a lot of that off. It'll be fine. Oh my goodness, me. <laughs> whoever did this flocking took their job seriously. I, I had to prise some of the branches apart. I was scrubbing this really thick flocking off. It looks like, certain branches look like it's been caught in a blizzard, never mind just a gentle snowstorm. Um, it would also appear that I have no sense of scale because I'd bought another tree last year in the sale, which was going to turn into just a stitching tree to put by my stitching chair. Well, it appears that I don't have enough room for another six foot tree <laughs> right by my stitching chair. So um, that one's going back up in the loft for a, a later time. And I've ordered just a four foot tree to go by my stitching chair because I'm seeing all these beautiful stitched trees and I want my own. I want my own. Right, let's have a look at um, what I was releasing this time, well, not this time last year, this is a January release. So I'm going back through my finishes. And the next thing that I stitched and finished and actually released were the Panic Button Collection. So you may remember these. So it's a little set of three pillows which showcase your beautiful buttons that you might have. So that was Panic Button. It's got a little finish on the back. Um, this one is Button Up. And it's got a little blue velvet back. And this one was a little dimpled cushion that I'd done, but it could also be made into a Biscornu. So there we go. So these are actually available on my Etsy store. I am just going back through my various finishes from last year. These are based on patterns from my A Burn Hope sampler as well. So love those. Right, let's have a look and see what's going on behind door number three, which is up here. I did have a quick look earlier on. What have we got? Oh, we've got a toy train this time. So we've got a toy train beautiful no doubt they'll uh, they'll have that um a couple of people have asked me about this calendar i got it from amazon it's i think it's called tiny shop um but it is a german calendar because they do the best christmas things the germans all love all their christmas things so there's that one now let's do the freebie and Melissa from Pinker and Pumpkin has come up with another salt box. So for those of you that are going to join me in the salt box sale, six houses 2024 sale, um, my aim is to stitch six. Some people are going to do more, some people are going to do less. But she has released another one and it is a like a gingerbread salt box. I'll put a picture of it up here. It's absolutely beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Now I've been to the Jingle Ball as well. I haven't really still been into the stitching rooms from feeling horrible yesterday. Um, I haven't really been into the stitching rooms. I'm hoping to get into them today. But I did make three purchases yesterday and I downloaded all the freebies. There's loads of freebies um, from each of the designers. And they put basically new freebies up, but also 
most of their collection of freebies is there so if you're at the jingle ball do go and have a look at those because you may want some later on in the year now i managed to get a the printer working and b santa's delivery which was actually sold out for quite some time yesterday um because i think Teresa just didn't realize how many people would want santa's delivery it's amazing they you can buy the um stalks the stands from Chantal 141 um but I don't know I don't know whether I'm going to go for the stands or whether I'll just make them into ornaments so I've got those love 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 and I also couldn't resist getting this one which is called home for Christmas I just love that I really love that one cannot wait to stitch that and I also bought where is it this one from Jeanette Douglas and there's two more I think I want to get um from Heartstring Samplery I think there's two more I want to get but I'm spreading out making sure I went through and took photos of all the ones I liked and then I started to pare down like which ones can't I live without I really like that one. Let's have a look at the Marks and Spencer Advent calendar and then I'll show you my button purchases from yesterday. Let's have a little look. So, those of you that haven't seen it before, it's in this big case. Now, I didn't put back number three so let me just put that one back before it all collapses so box number two I didn't put back box number three right in the middle there we go no clues on the box this time oh right at the bottom so it's a little and read that. God, that's how far the eyesight slipped in 12 months. Well, it's not in English. Ah, multi purpose dry oil, face, body, and hair. There we go. I thought it was a little perfume, but it's not. Let's see what it smells like. Doesn't smell of anything. That's good. I'll give that a whirl. Like I said, my face has been really, really dry the last couple of days. So it's by Nux or Nux, N-U-X-E. Love. I think I love. We'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> and I have a rash tomorrow. That'll be the worst that can happen. And then we went to this Christmas fair. And if you've seen my Instagram, you'll already see I've put these up. I just thought these were amazing. Um, there's a lady called the Button Queen. And I'll link her down below. And she's actually only about six miles away from my house. But they have a huge button business. A huge, <coughs> excuse me, a huge button business. And she goes to the shows in Harrogate and Ali Pali and all of that. And she was at our local um, garden centre. And she had these huge buttons. Now, she'd use these buttons on table runners and things like that. But she'd also just turned them into hanging ornaments and they are beautiful absolutely beautiful so i grabbed a happy christmas one and i also grabbed a nadole clown one which i love absolutely love there we go nadole clown so I can't wait to display those at Christmas. They are so tactile. They're so tactile. And they're huge. They're about the size of my size of my palm in my my doggy shirt. <laughs> I love it. So I shall put the contact details down for them. Now I know that they are not on the website as such, but I'm pretty sure if you drop her a message, um, you will be able to get one or work out how you could get one. So there we go. Now Dolly Clowen. Right, that's it from me. I'll see you tomorrow. Stay classy, Stitchers.